Hey everyone, Dev with Crime Hive, and I'm just doing a quick video right now because we've got some breaking information here. We've learned that the pink car belonging to Natalie Jones, who's been missing for months, has been recovered. There was a body inside as well. Uh, there's still law enforcement still looking to confirm that information. Uh, from what I understand, next of kin is being notified and uh but that was her vehicle and it was found and I'll, and I'll go into a few details on this this video is not going to be very long i just put out a video yesterday about her disappearance and giving some updates on what family and friends think and some possible uh suspects that that family and, and, and friends have been suspicious of and it and it's uh didn't expect this video so soon to to let you all know that it appears she may have been found we just got to wait for the confirmation on that but this article right here comes from Alive 11. They just came out and and said that uh, the, the the car had been found, the body, and, and they're even saying that uh, the, the family has said that the body found inside is her. So we know that they have been notified. Next of Kin has been notified. And, and I'll just play this quick clip from them as well, from the, the news station there. We'll play that real quick. News just into our information center right now. State investigators revealed minutes ago that they have found a missing woman's car with a body inside. The Georgia Bureau of Investigation tweeted tonight that they found Natalie Jones's car in Heard County. The young mother was last seen in eastern Alabama over the July 4th holiday weekend. The GBI says the body has not been identified and they are doing an autopsy. Okay, they're doing the autopsy. They're going to do the autopsy. We have learned, though, that uh, from this article, that uh, family has 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 told others that it was her. The body was her in the vehicle. So, uh, really interesting. I, I've got another video that I'll link below where I, I go more in depth on her disappearance. If you're not familiar with this case, and and I got to give it up. I got to give a shout out to. A few viewers here of, of Crime Hive, and and it looks like I want to if I've got this right, Sergeant Melinda. We've got Genus XXX and Hannah Faith. I want to thank you guys for quickly notifying me about this information. And this is the power of online and and, and what's possible. And so I, you know, as, as tragic as this is, um, what what is so interesting is you have people out there. Who want to help the family? Want closure? I want to help with this, with 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 the family gaining closure. And you know, and I've got to give it up to this YouTube channel here uh, that I that I also was notified about. And it's adventure adventures with purpose. And they were actually out there doing sonar, and and they were looking. So they're out on the water. They were actually trying to find Natalie that day, and um, and they had been posting about it. And and got to give it up to these two here and i wasn't really familiar with this channel until recently so uh you know it, it, it's it's really neat to see people out there really trying to make a difference and i'm going to play a few clips from their video that was live streaming this was just hours ago and it'll give you a little bit better idea of of what we're looking at here and, they, and i'm not going to play the whole thing i'm just going to play a few quick clips here but they apparently had gotten this information from another person who was listening to the police scanner and and lo and behold on the police scanner somebody had located a pink vehicle so that of course perked their interest they went out and they got on scene quickly and they were recording it as they were doing their live stream so i'm just going to play a few quick clips on that and and then obviously when we get out more information and more details more facts that's typically you know what i i, I look to do is is give the information that that we know to be factual right now it's going to be developing there's a lot of information that we're still going to be learning as we go but let me play a few a few quick clips here from it from Damn, them just kind of bring them up to speed i'm shaking right now like yeah, I, like i'll take over this one yeah 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 so let this truck pass real quick um so we were doing sonar on a pond uh, just checking you know for bodies or cars and at our like fourth or fifth location today yeah, fourth or fifth location. i'm sorry and he, they can't hear you because you're behind the mic okay so. cool cool yeah, so we were doing sonar on a pond, um, just you know, checking our fifth, either fourth or fifth location. While we were there, something came over the police scanner that they found a pink car. Um, and so my thought is either we flushed 
them out because we're here and it's a small town, there's nothing going on here, everybody knows we're here, or perhaps us being here refresh the information in people's minds to where they actually notice the pink pink car. Anyway, right now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight um, police vehicles, it looks like, maybe more. Uh, they have it yellow taped. The crime scene, that, I mean, it's a lot of cops, a lot of action, so either way, it's just, it just this is, this is wild. Yeah. It's wild. Uh, I'm going to, I'm shaking right now, but uh, I'm going to head up here to the driveway here. Pretty crazy, and I'll stop it real quick because I'm sure you're wondering where this was, and I'm going to show the map real quick. Uh, from my other video, too, we talked about the phone pings being around Ephesus in this area here in Georgia and then also you know around Franklin around this area she doesn't live too far from there we know that she lives around Corinth Corinth right over here uh, so right in this area it looks like it's Roosterville Road and Welcome Road that's the area the intersection where deputies were and where they located this pink vehicle belonging to Natalie Jones and then also the body inside that apparently is her so Again, very developing here. Uh, if you're familiar with this area, this is what we're looking at here. This area, uh, not in the water. You know, a lot of people had speculated about that, and it, she ended up being just off the road. I'm actually surprised she wasn't found sooner than that. Um, of course, I, I'm not going to blame anybody uh, about why. Uh, don't know how hidden it was, but it apparently was just off the road, and and she was located. So that that is somewhat good news in the fact that at least the family knows where she was and and they can have some sense of that closure a couple of clips i'll just play again on this i'm not going to go through the whole live stream here and and i'll show you a few other things that are going on with it and i'll just kind of fast forward through parts of it here just to show you just to show you kind of what's going on there uh, anyway i'll keep you guys updated as to what's going on the detective on the right um, is the one, the one in the black. We spoke to him this morning. He could not give us any information this morning as to anything that is not in the press. We're currently looking for Natalie Jones. He was he was respectful. He very very nice guy. Yeah, very nice yes. guy, respectful. Okay. These guys have done a fantastic job and I, I just gotta With that being said, just gotta give it up to them for being out there me, and, and, and trying to search for her, trying to find her. Dan's and sneak into the woods over there. Dan so I'm just going to kind of fast forward it through. There's a couple other little small parts I wanted to show on this. Uh, it was it was a live stream pretty much throughout the entire because right now we're this is where this we entire need to video be here. We need to be recover or we need to be showing what's going on here. I'm going to eat off camera too. Is that and I'll go to the interview. So right news news started getting wind Sam, of this. Sam the adventure man, myself, Dan, Dan the cameraman. He's a Let's see if I can find it here. Right here with this. Well, we're on. News look. There we yeah. go. WRVL. News all right, all right. Well, come on in. I don't want to walk in nobody's shot. Oh, no, no, no. The, the, yeah, okay, so there was a it's little interview, too, again. with the news station. But uh, anyway, if you guys want to actually watch the entire live stream, you can go over to their channel. Uh, again, I'm not even affiliated with, affiliated with them. Like what they're doing out there, though. Adventures with Purpose. Good on them uh, for, for being out there looking for her, even though where they were searching and what they were doing actually wasn't involved in where she was found. They happened to be there, they got on scene quickly, were able to give some updates out, and and then of course, other YouTube viewers, watchers, uh, you know, providing that quick info, and, and, that's, and, and that's what I like to see. That's really the vision of, of where I like to see Crime Hive, and as I'm you know, looking to create a site and, and um, help get this information out much faster and and streamlined like like we are right now through social media through twitter uh all these things and then you've got people on the ground searching trying to come up with other clues and information to help the families help the friends and it's just it's so interesting to see so again this is the end of this video i just wanted to give you that update on natalie jones there will be more again check out my other video too if you're not familiar with the case and i'll be back again soon you guys all take care this is dev with crime hive